is up everybody it is Wednesday night it's like nine o'clock or something finished up working went down the drag strip watched a little local drag race grud racing finally put the little guy to bed which means I finally get some free time to myself and I chose to work on my helmet so this is the same silver sparkle helmet that I had when I went to uh, zip tie drags and to LS fest the plan was to have it done for zip tie but I didn't even have my car put together let alone my helmet, so I ended up going with the Sparkle Disco. Last weekend was Memorial Day weekend, had a little extra time. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna work on my own crap. So, this is where I got. You're looking at it in base coat. There's no clear coat on it, so it's still getting graphics put on it. And actually, as a matter of fact, I think it just finished cutting the stencil. I'm gonna put an Uncle Gus sticker on it. And for those of you that are wondering, Uncle Gus is the chicken that you keep seeing on all my stuff. It's dedicated to a buddy of mine that I lost to cancer several years ago. We used to call him Uncle Gus, and it's kind of a cheeky, funny uh, cartoon image, if you will. He, I know that he'd get a kick out of it, so that's why I named it that. Plus, when people ask for stickers and whatnot, they can ask for an Uncle Gus sticker instead of an angry chicken or uh, whatever he really is. But that's for you to figure out, not for me to let you in on the secret. I made a stencil. I'm gonna paint an Uncle Gus on the other side of the helmet where there's a big open spot. We'll spin this thing around so you guys can see. Airbrush them in here and I'll show you guys uh, what it looks like when I finish before we, we get this thing cleared. Check it out. This will be the outline. So we'll spray the base through that. And this is actually a little bit bigger than this. So we'll peel this right now. This is the actual black. So, there is that, your base, which is white, and then we'll lay this stencil over and paint it over this, and that will give us the, all the black lines. Mm. Oh, pretend I'm a plotter. And this way. So this is my stencil layout. A rip. Roll it. So I kind of want him to stay out of the black because he's going to have a black border. So that's where the chicken is going to live. So, white base down. We got to do some uh, flash time. We'll put this guy down and then we will put the black on it. We're good to go. We can spread the black. Now I'm going to go ahead without anything around it. Now I'm going to come in and freehand blow a shadow around the outside of this. put some clear coat on it and that's it the next time you see this hopefully I'll be in my car at the track rolling with it but I'm happy with how it turned out hope you guys dig it if you like this video don't forget to subscribe click be a hero click the chicken click this dude not on this part but on the screen where you can subscribe to see more of my crap I'm tired I'm gonna clean up put the car back in here so I can get up in a few hours so I can sand on the car all day tomorrow that's going to be awesome. You guys have a good evening.